Gentlemen, uh, welcome back to Ross Taylor Woodworks. Uh, this time we've got a set of uh, Hitchcock chairs. Uh, need uh, repainting. Uh, the seats need to be uh, refinished. As you can see, the uh, seats are really bad. Uh, it's flaking. So I'm going to have to sand the uh, seat down. Now as far as the frame, I'm just going to clean. Uh, do a light sanding and then respray it with some black. Now typical of these Hitchcock chairs is this stencil along the crest. Unfortunately, I won't be able to reproduce this. Uh, the customer said uh, it didn't matter if uh, you got rid of that. But that's very typical of these uh, Hitchcock chairs. And also they're marked on the back side here. I uh, won't be able to save that either. So I'm going to have to paint over that. Uh, there's a lot of chipping uh, of the black. Especially on the feet here. So I'll a sanding and then repaint the black. And they also had this little gold band in these notches. I might do that. I might go in and do that little gold band. Uh, one important thing to note is these are not period chairs. Uh, these are from the 1960s or 70s. So it's perfectly fine to uh, refinish or repaint these. Alright, the first step before I do anything, I'm going to give them a thorough scrubbing down with TSP in warm water. This will remove all the old oils, polishes, waxes, and grime. I want to make sure the uh, surface is nice and clean before I repaint. And also I'm going to be sanding the seats to remove the finish. So I don't want to grind all those polishes and old grime into the wood. All right, the first step is to sand the seats down. Uh, the quickest way it is to strip the seats is to sand them with some 60 grit paper and the random orbit sander. Then follow up with the palm sander with 100 grit and 120 grit. Then after the 120 grit, I'm going to raise the grain with some water. Then a final sanding by hand with 150 grit paper. And then sand the frame with some 120 grit paper. I want to smooth out all of the chipped areas. Okay, now down in the finishing room, uh, just tacking off the dust. And I was digging through my stains and I found Czar Early American. I tested that and it's very similar to the original. After brushing on two coats of polycrylic, uh, I've got a lot of air bubbles in the finish. So later on I'm going to correct this. So for right now I'm going to uh, go ahead and paint the frames and I'll get back to the seats later. And I'm putting the tape on and then cutting out the shape of the groove. And then wrap the seats in newspaper. Now I'm going to spray on four coats of satin black.
Okay, now getting back to the seats, I'm going to sand them down with 320 gold. I'll rub out all those air bubbles. And then tack off the dust. And get ready to spray on a couple coats of satin acrylic over the entire chair. Uh, first, I have to color in the groove in the back of the seat there. Just going to brush in some black paint. Okay, the chairs are all done. I did two coats of the acrylic as a top coat. Uh, it gives it a nice even uh, sheen. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned uh, there was yellow paint in these uh, notches. I decided not to do that. I thought it would look odd. Um, it'll be way too fussy and time consuming to go in and try to neatly put yellow paint in each one of these notches. And of course, they had this stenciling across the crest here. Uh, the customer was fine with eliminating the uh, stenciling. I can't do the stenciling. And I think the chairs look great without it. Uh, has sort of a modern updated look with just the black and the uh, stained seats. I was originally concerned there might be a ghost image of the stencil show through, but that turned out not to be a problem. <laughs> 